Below in this session, we will create a simple effect that scatters particles in random directions using the Niagara system. First, we create the Niagara system. Next, we remove the modules that affect the movement of particles, as shown in the video. Then in Properties, we change the SIM target to GPU to accommodate a large number of particles. We also set the spawn rate to about 50,000 to generate as many particles as the value, and set the cycle mode in the emitter state to system, a method that sequentially removes particles according to their lifetime. Next, we set the sprite size small and initialize particle. Then, we set the primitive to sphere in shape location and set the value for radius. In distribution, we set it to direct to allow the spawn location of particles to circle in a ring shape. Then, we create vector noise force to scatter randomly from the current location. Next, we create a vortex force and set values in a mountain axis. You will then be able to see particles spewing out in one direction. We then create a point attraction force and set the attraction strength and radius as shown in the video. This will make the particles move down and then up. To create random movement, we generate a curl noise force. When you set values for the created module as shown in the video, you can see particles being scattered in random directions from the specified location. In scale color, we change scale RGB to linear color and set the random range linear color so that the colors of the particles are set within the color range. We also set the curve value in scale alpha to naturally generate and disappear particles. Next, to naturally create and disappear the size of the sprite, we create scale sprite size and copy the curve of scale alpha just before and paste it in the curve of scale sprite size. Finally, we go into drag, set up the curve, set the timeline of the curve as shown in the video, and set the scale curve to about 300. Then the particles will pause for a moment where they are scattered and then disappear. Now we place the Niagara system we created so far in the level to check if it works.